Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you the save file dialog component. So the save file dialog allows you to basically save a file. You can specify the specify the extension, not specify, messed up the words there. You can specify the extension, which is going to deal with TXT files, but you can use whatever you want. What we're going to have is, it's going to be pretty cool, we're going to have a rich text box. And though it says the word rich in there, we are not going to unfortunately become rich. We're not going to have 20% of 20% in there. And we're going to add a button as well. So when the button is clicked, the save file dialog will pop up. And when we save it, anything in the text box will be saved inside. Okay, so that's it for the UI side. So if we double click this, go to here. So when the button is clicked, we are first going to do save file dialog. We need to do a filter, and this is just going to be that little thing that is at the bottom of the extension types that you'll show in terms of the files. I'm going to do equals. So the format is txt files, and this is essentially going to be you know what's going to be displayed. Now specify the actual format. So we're going to do asterisk dot txt. This just means know anything with the txt extension we are going to do the vertical line i there we go there's the vertical line i believe it's called the pipe i'm going to put asterisk.txt okay and just wait for these errors to disappear so we'll look ah needs to be save file dialog one because we're setting it it's still Save file dialog one is not declared for some reason. Let's have a look. Ah, I forgot to add it. The main part of the video I forgot to add. So just add that onto the form and now we can link it up. This error will disappear momentarily. There we go. Now we are going to check if the result is okay for the dialog. Then we are gonna save the file. So if save file dialog does show dialog, show dialog and if it equals the result of windows.forms dot dialog result dot okay and I'm missing a keyword then and where that full slash came we meant to be dot there we go. Okay, so in here we are simply gonna say my dot computer dot file system dot write. I'm gonna write all the text from the save file dialog. So write write all text, and I'm gonna do save file dialog one dot file name. So this is the file name that we specify, and we'll see that in a moment. Rich text box one dot txt you could obviously get this from a string variable or from a label or just from a simple text box but this just allows you know a lot more content to be written in there so it's a lot more practical for what we want we set that to true and now we're ready to run so if i were to actually open up a new folder so this is the desktop no files here so if i run this and i just put in hello world 20% of 20%. Now I click button one and go to desktop. I just type in, I don't know, let's type in cam.txt, click save. And if I go to the desktop, open up the cam.txt, as you can see, the text that we put inside of our rich text box one has now been saved. So that's it. That's how you use the save file dialog. You can save whatever you want in whatever format. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. A link to the GitHub description will be available as well. So feel free to check that out if you're having any issues. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.